Hello, can you hear me now? Yep, I can. Okay, perfect. So, let's go ahead and start talking about the beautiful mesh that you sent me, the, the lesson that the homework that you have worked on. In Kuzet Choman, Asher Zari Budast, Dar Band Sare Zulf Negari Budast. The very first thing that I notice in here is circles are very solid and then I'm very happy with the half pennies and you're observing the baseline very well also the cuff daddy the, the doll shaped cuff that you've got in here with the half penny now you feel a lot more comfortable with your half penny model right yeah yeah but I'm getting you know used, used to it <laughs> Very happy with all of these movements, you know, the angry eyebrow that we have, Choman in here, and then the pen drop, Asher Azari Budas. Um, for Asher, for the, for the connection between Ain and Aleph, there is a little bit of improvement in here that I'm going to talk about. One, two, and three major movements. The only problem that this number two has is that it's supposed to be 153 degrees just like I'm showing in here the, the penny so, angle right. uh, okay yeah easy fix no problem awesome very good I'm very happy Modu uh, thank you very much for paying attention for these you know uh, half penny I'm, I'm really glad to see you know Asher itself Ishq or Asher this is probably one of the most difficult uh, words in, in a very common too a very <laughs> com exactly <laughs> <laughs> every poet has to use very this frequently word. used and very difficult at the same time very technical i should say uh, look at these reserves and the, you know the, look at the shape the boomerang shape that they have you remember at the beginning we had these uh, res and zes with sharp ends now yeah, yeah. everything is fixed thank you very much i really appreciate the attention that you have dar band sar zulf negari budas i i don't see any problems in here actually this budas is very very beautiful this be and vav can you see that now oh yeah <laughs> this is beautiful i mean this it shows that you definitely have that uh you know form beautiful form everything is in place Uh, more into the detail of this cap in here because that's the key uh, movement for Fe. See, this is your lum, for example, the Aleph part, and this is the extension part, half penny. Now you want to write this just like this. You see, I'm moving the, the heel of the pen, and then pen is rotated from 63 to 90. And then obviously, prime. but Y and Y prime makes that 63 degrees towards the baseline. So this angle is 63, and X and X prime is 153. But Y and Y prime represent the ang the, the axis in which we have the most, uh, the maximum thickness, both on top and bottom, which is half bending. X and X prime is representing the minimum thickness, which is just a pen thickness just the pen tip thickness and both on right and uh, left side uh, you gonna could you please scan that and send that to me yeah definitely. yeah yeah definitely I'm gonna send this one and also uh, I'm going to send this one too obviously this has been semester B some match number eight right yeah okay now, this is exactly what we needed. The next match is exactly talking about that fe and rein and ein. Ey dost, bia ta gham farda nakhorim. Rin yek dam om ra ganimat shemorim. Let me share my screen with you so that you can see the same poem, eat the same sarma. Do not eat what? Oh, friend, do not eat something. Bia ta gham farda nakhorim. Eat gham. Gham it means eating sorrow, but eating sorrow means uh, 
to not having sorrow or sadness. Hey, hey, my friend, hey, dost. Let's not be too much worried about tomorrow. Let's just seize the day. It means one moment of life. Because life is too short. It's almost like one moment. So how do you appreciate the time that uh, we are alive, we are enjoying life, and then let's not too much worry about that tomorrow. Just write it down so that you can see the movements. For a year, a pen drop, obviously full penny, and then second movement stops right here on the bass line, full penny. And then third movement, which is the circular part of it, with its own penny rotation. Half penny, square connection, half penny, then full penny goes up three dots high. Now, we don't want to move all the way up for this top. For Ram, this is the first movement, half pen leap. This is the second movement. Notice, this is from bottom left to top right. So, this is first movement, this is the second movement. And then, this is the third movement. Now, it's ready to get connected to the stretch. Take a whole lot of ink. Get it connected to the stretch, just like this. And stops here, comes back full pen nib, and then again stops on the baseline one more time. And here is the pen drop for the meme. Now you understand what is the reason that I didn't uh, stretch this tall all the way up. Instead of three. The ram looks. Uh opposite of Ram. Oppos opposite of what? The meaning. It looks so beautiful but the meaning of Ram is opposite. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But the word itself is so beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good point. This is Fe. It would be that pen drop and then Two dots in here. Mm. It means vain. It's almost like an abbreviation. Vin left down. Half penny lift down. Stops right on the baseline. From this point on, we have the semicircle for noon with the penny rotation that I have explained in the previous sessions. Vin yek dam it's almost like a ya and then comes down touches the baseline a little bit too goes up two dots high and then with the triangular form which is very close to a re because this is a dull but it's a connected dull so it's very close to a re as i've explained before yek dam stops right on the baseline with the Kalamandas, with the pen drop. Now, see, we want to write Ombre. Ombre is exact the same movement as Ram. First movement, half pen deep. Second movement, from bottom left to top right, and then third movement. Now, we want to take the ink that we need, stretch, stretch, come back, Stop right on the baseline for meme, full penny, and this time have another pen drop for uh, for the re for the sword re, re shamshiri. Now we need to have omr ra ganimat shomari. For rain in here, this is a different type of ain and rain. This is not the rain that we have for Ram. This begins with this movement, which is full pen nib this time. And then the second movement is just like this, a little thinner than what we had before. And then the third movement, basically these two are going to line up with each other. And third movement is full pen nib too. So 
full pen nib, half pen nib, full pen nib this time. And then a little S shape, half pen nib, very uh, small, very tight movement. And then for connection between this mim, like an M, mim, uh, and te, it's exact the same story as we had for the last dint of sin and te. We need that triangular shape in here. Okay? So, after this, we make this stretch for te. And you can omra ganimat shemorim. Now, take a look at this one. Shomorim 1, 2, and number 3 is a pen drop. All of them are half pen nib, right? Mim, full pen nib, and then Resham Shiri, just like Om. But we want to make sure that it's going to be a little uh, shorter than what we had before because it's going to coincide with Im. So, we always need to look ahead that what is coming up. Pin drop. I. Not shomorim. See, that is the reason that we don't want this to be too long. So, overall, the new mash is going to look like this. ای دوست بیا تا غم فردا نخوریم وین یک دم عمر را Now as usual uh, the, I'm going key movements in this new lesson it's a large pen size so that you can see uh, how are the movements I'm going to write Umbr. This is the first movement, half pen nib as I explained, 63 degrees. Now this is the second movement and this is the third movement. As it goes back and comes down. Now I'm taking a lot of ink because I'm going to connect it with the stretch, right? So here's the stretch. Going all the way and then it kind of touches the baseline in here at this point because we are coming back full pen nib for Mim Andre. And then this is how it goes. Omr. Obviously, this stretch is about two dots high and uh, lengthwise it is seven or nine dots long. Now, for Gram, exact the same thing. That's exactly the same movement. The only difference is that this mim comes down instead of going that way. And then we need another dot up above it because that's a rain, it's not an ain. However, if you want to write ghanimat, then the movement begins with a full pen nib this time. And then second movement is half pen nib, a very thin half pen nib this time. And then this is the third movement. Again, it's full pen nib. So this is the movement for Ranimat. Okay, do you have any questions? Oh man, what am I gonna write like that? Very soon. Yeah, sure, you took it 20 years, isn't it? <laughs> no, look at the long way that you came already. You have fixed a lot of the movements and you, you have a beautiful artistic okay. talent. Thank you very much, again. I appreciate okay. that. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you next week. You Okay, thanks a lot. <laughs>